my name's Amanda and welcome to the third block tutorial in my mini block quilt along. In today's video I will be showing you how to make this very gorgeous and super super sweet hashtag block. It is one of the most simplest, quickest blocks that you will piece together I think in this whole series. The block simply features just squares and rectangles and you just piece them all together into rows and it's done. Super, super quick and very, very easy. In my block, I've used two contrasting colors to really make the hashtag design really pop out. For your block, feel free to use as many prints and as many colors as you like. As always, the choice is completely up to you. As always, you will find all of the measurement and cutting info that you'll need to make this block in the pattern sheet, and that is linked in the very first line in the description underneath this video. And so with that very quick and short introduction done, let's get into how we make the hashtag block. To make this block, you will need to cut two five and a half by one and a half inch rectangles and six one and a half inch squares from a dark colored fabric and then nine one and a half inch squares from a lighter fabric for your background. Begin by placing the two long rectangle pieces to one side for later on. Grab two dark colored squares and three of your background squares. Lay the two darker squares in between the background squares and then pair and pin each of them together with the two outer edge squares. At the sewing machine, feed through each of these pairs using a quarter inch seam allowance. Snip the joining threads and then with a medium to hot steamy iron, press each of the seams towards the darker side of fabric. Lay the pairs back into their original positions and then flip over the center square onto the duo to the left. Evenly pin the squares together and then sew a quarter inch seam along this edge. Carefully press the seam inwards towards the darker side of fabric and then neatly pin, sew and press the other duo into place completing the row. Do this twice more with the left over one and a half inch squares, resulting in three identical rows. Next, place the two long rectangle pieces in between the three pieced rows. Starting at the bottom and working your way up, turn the rectangle piece over onto the last row in the block. Evenly pin this top edge into place, then sew a quarter inch seam along it. Then gently press the seam upwards towards the rectangle piece. Flip the next row over, lining up the center seams evenly with those in the bottom row. Pin the edge neatly into place and then sew another quarter inch seam along it. Press the seam inwards once more towards the rectangle piece. And then repeat the same steps with the other two rows to complete the rest of the block. Finally, trim your hashtag block to a neat five and a half inch square using a set square ruler. As I've mentioned before, keep sharing your beautiful blocks with me using the hashtag Amanda's Mini QAL. You can share your blocks with me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, anywhere that sort of hashtags and things sort of exist, I suppose. You can also send them to me in an email if you like. All of the details of where you can find me are down in the description box below. Just have a scroll down and it will all be there for you. If you are new to my channel and would like to see more of the things that I do here, don't forget to subscribe and also if you are a subscriber, but don't forget to click the little bell that's next to the subscribe button by doing that you will get a notification every time I upload a video and as always thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again another time very very soon bye mm -hmm.